Now, we have seen how we can solve the determinant for a 2 by 2 matrix. How about for matrices bigger than 2 by 2? Before we go into that, let's look into minors and cofactors. So if A is a square matrix, then the minor M sub IJ of the entry A sub IJ is the determinant of the matrix obtained by deleting the ith row and the jth column of A. So let's look into this one here. Let us zoom in on that. There you go. And here. If we want to find the minor of entry A sub 2, 1, which is the entry in the second row and the first column, that minor is actually the, the determinant of the matrix form by deleting the second, the second row and the first column. That's why there is something here. So, when we delete that, let's put a line there to make it there. We're going to form the matrix with the entries A sub 1, 2, A sub 1, 3, A sub 3, 2, and A sub 3, 3 of the original matrix. Sometimes, this is called the sub matrix, the matrix form here, and the minor of A sub 2, 1, that entry would be the, the determinant of that sub matrix form. That is what we call a minor. And each of these entries will have their specific minors. Now, a cofactor, Cij, of the entry A sub Ij is given by this formula. Negative 1 raised to i plus j multiplied to the minor of that entry A sub Ij. So going here again, let's take a closer look once again here. There you go. The cofactor of entry A sub 2, 1 would be this minor here multiplied to negative 1 raised to 2 plus 1. And negative 1 raised to 2 plus 1 is negative, ah, negative 1 raised to 3. Oops, sorry supposed to be negative oops sorry again there you go negative 1 multiplied to the minor m sub 2 1 and that results to this one here so that is how we get minors and cofactors just another illustration if we want to find the minor and the cofactor of a sub 2 2 for the minor we first remove the second row and the second column and we get this sub matrix with the elements a sub 1 1, a sub 1 3, a sub 3 1, and a sub 3 3. Finding the determinant of this sub matrix gives us the minor and multiplying this minor to negative 1 raised to 2 plus 2 gives us the cofactor of a sub 2 2. With that in mind, given this matrix A here, let us find the minor and the cofactors of the following entries. Pause the video and try to see if you'll be able to find the minor and the cofactor of the following given entries. Alright, let us start first with A sub 1, 2. So this means I have to find the minor of A sub 1, 2. And in doing so, I have to delete the first row and the second column, which would mean the minor of A sub 1, 2 will have, is the determinant of the matrix 3, 2, 4, 1. Using our formula before, this would be that 1, 3 times 1 minus 2 times 4, and that will actually give me This becomes 3 minus 8, which becomes negative 5. Now, the cofactor of this one here would be negative 1 raised to 1 plus 2 times negative 5. And this will become negative 1 because it's negative 1 raised to 3. Maybe we can write that down. It's negative 5. A negative, five, a negative 1 rather raised to 3 is still negative 1 times negative 5, which would give us positive Five. So this is the cofactor of entry A sub 1, 2, while the minor 
is negative 5. For the second one, we are asked to find for a sub 2, 3. So, let's erase that. And for a sub 2, 3, we have the second row and the third column here. So, the minor of entry a sub 2, 3 would be the determinant of the matrix form 0, 2, 4, 0. A lot is here for us, but it will just be 0, 0 times 0, 0, minus 2 times 4. And this is negative 8. The cofactor now of this would be negative 1 raised to 2 plus 3 times negative 8. And this will become negative 1 raised to 5 times negative 8, which is just simply negative 1 times negative 8, which gives us positive 8. Therefore, we can say that our minor, minor sub 2, 3, is negative 8, while our cofactors cofactor sub 2, 3 is positive 8. For letter C, although I would have to scroll down further later, A sub 3, 2, so that means the third row and the second column. So, let's just write it down here. There you go, for A sub 3, 2. The minor of A sub 3, 2 would be the determinant of the matrix 0, 1, 3, 2. There you go. 0, 1, 3, 2. Which would give us, that's a 0 times 2 minus a 1 times 3. Which would actually give us negative 3. So there you go. Oops, let's scroll down a bit more. And our cofactor of 3, 2 would be negative 1 raised to 3 plus 2 times negative 3. And this would be negative 1 raised to 5 times negative 3, which is still negative 1 times negative 3. Therefore, it's positive 3. This would mean that the minor of entry A sub 3, 2 is negative 3, while its cofactor is positive 3. Now, what is the need for minors and cofactors? We'll see that in the formal definition of a matrix to be seen in the next video.